Soot is dangerous. Soot is not good for man. Soot is not good for the environment. It's a common enemy. Where do we work? Where do we work? Where do we work? Where do we work? River State, fondly referred to as a land of milk and honey, is a treasure base of Nigeria. Nature, in its benevolence, has endowed her with lots of minerals and other natural resources, which are supposed to be blessings to the citizens and inhabitants alike. But let me jolt you. That glorious blessing has become a curse and poison to the society because of the illicit activities of a few who enrich themselves to the detriment of all. Port Harcourt, the capital city of River State, has lost its garden city acclamation to Suit City. This is 20 minutes to 7. This is Borokri area of Port Harcourt. We can see the black suit. In the past two years, residents of Port Harcourt and its environs in River State have been invaded by a deadly menace called Suit. 80% of the suit that is in Port Harcourt and its environs are from these illegal refineries. The medical implications of the suit we currently experience in Port Harcourt can be largely divided into two. The one we refer to as acute complications and the one we refer to as chronic complications. The acute complications are those complications that are immediate. And then the chronic complications are the ones that can occur between months to years. In recent times, Port Harcourt is always making headlines, courtesy the black suit. This suit has chemical characteristics, and most of them are hydrocarbons and heavy metals. And these hydrocarbons and heavy metals, when they get into the aquatic system, they pollute the water system. It leads to bioaccumulation and biomagnification of these um, hydrocarbon-based pollutants, including heavy metals in the fish. Some of them may, be, may die, if, if uh, it occurs in um, uh, lethal quantities or the fishermen go to catch the fish and we buy from them and eat thereby increasing the level of these pollutants in our body. Like my daughter, she had a respiratory problem for three months late last year. I know how much I spent to treat her and I have a one month old son. And because of what I experienced with my daughter, I became pretty much aware of the suit. So I had to do follow up checkups and the other day we were cleaning his nose with the cotton boards, his nostrils. And you can't imagine the amount of black substance that came out because the suit is everywhere around. In fact, I can take you to my house and show you what it looks like. And this baby is just a month old. So this cutting was fixed here um, about a month ago. And take a look at what it looks like now. This is my palm. And So this is what you get just after a month of installation. We must stop the suit by all means and collectively we must do so. The suit is killing us, the suit is killing our future, it's killing our environment and it's killing citizens. And we're here because after 20 months that the suit is in, the problem is worsening, children are beginning to fall sick. We are asking the federal government that they must reconstitute the security teams, how they go about artisanal refining. For us as a government, we will always collaborate with the federal government to see that matters concerning the environment are taken seriously. But please, also advise our people in our creeks, our young ones, our youngsters, not to get themselves involved in illegal bunkering, not to add to the pollution of the air through things that they call coal fire. Because it's dangerous not only to their own health, but the health of people around. And so we want to assure you, we will take this matter up to His Excellency the Governor and your, your request will be addressed. Instead of squarely tackling the suit, it is a blame game. The River State Government accuses security agencies for being responsible for the suit as a result of the indiscriminate burning of illegal refineries without considering the environmental hazards. However, the security agencies are insisting that they are not responsible for the suit. Unfortunately, neither the state nor the federal government has come up with a lasting solution either by stopping the illegal refineries or stopping gas flaring. This is my day 26 
of wearing nose masks all around Port Harcourt, wherever I'm going, even to church. I put on my nose mask and people, some people laugh at me. They think I'm crazy. They think um, I've taken it, you know, to the extreme. If someone without a nose mask would inhale 1 million particles of the suit, I probably would be inhaling 600,000. Suit is dangerous. Suit is not good for man. Suit is not good for the environment. It's a common enemy that does not know party. It is a common enemy that does not know anybody. It attacks anything that is attackable. I decided to do the suit song because um, oftentimes in my um, community I came to realize that a lot of people are very relaxed, laid back about it. You know, so I decided to lend my voice out to, to create awareness that the suit is very harmful to people. Stop the Suit is my first music video. Um, I chose it and we had to come through with a video because of the urgency of the suit. Oh, yeah. Stop the suit. Yeah. I beg you, make it stop the suit. Oh my god, yeah. I thought this was oh, yeah. the city. Stop the suit. Yeah. I beg you, make it stop the suit. Yeah. Uh, stop the suit. Where do we work? Stop the suit. Where do we work? Stop the suit.